It's a problem solver story you'll see only right here on Fox 2. It involves Congressman John Conyers, his government vehicle, and his son. Fox 2 Simon Jacquet live downtown now with the story. Simon. Huel, in the last couple days, I've learned about a very serious and potentially ugly situation developing for the congressman. In my hand, a copy of the police report with some very troubling facts. He's a Detroit icon, one of the country's longest-running congressmen, John Conyers, a name synonymous with D.C. politics. But a Detroit police report uncovered by Fox 2 now raises serious questions. Like why his 20-year-old son, John Conyers III, took dad's 2010 Burgundy Escalade registered to the government downtown for a night of partying. It was the night before Thanksgiving, the biggest bar night of the entire year. Our first stop to the Conyers residence didn't do much good. His son came to the door but wouldn't open up. It gets worse. The police report says the night the SUV was driven downtown, someone broke into the vehicle. It was parked here at Brush and Congress. At about 12.30 a.m. Thanksgiving morning, John III came back to find two laptops stolen and something else peculiar. John III told police $27,500 worth of concert tickets to the Fillmore disappeared too. It was John Conyers' son who reported the crime to the Central District. But the victim, according to the document, the person or agency associated with the vehicle is none other than the 14th Congressional District. A former congressman who served more than 15 years in Washington knows a thing or two about the rules and regulations. I've never ever heard any member of Congress get into a situation like this. I don't know of anybody, I don't know of a single person in Congress in the 16 years that I was there who had the vehicle title in the name of the government. I would tell you that they better use it just for the purpose of what they have been uh, uh, been uh, required to do, and that's it, nothing beyond that. No, not to allow it to get in the hands of a relative or a, a friend or whatever. On the federal government's website, the rules are spelled out clearly. If an employee willfully uses or authorizes the use of a motor vehicle for other than official purposes, the employee is subject to suspension of at least one month or up to and including removal by the head of the agency. We are still working to find out what those expensive tickets were doing in that SUV and also if one or both of those laptops may have belonged to the congressman and had sensitive government uh, information on them. Huel and Taryn. Uh, Simon, we understand you went to the Conyers family home. Have you had any response at all from the congressman's office? I had a chance to speak with a spokesperson for Conyers' office. She said she had to do some checking on this matter and would call me back. So far, we have not heard back. We're still waiting. Simon Jaquette reporting live from downtown Detroit. Simon, thank you.